I was lucky to grow up in a household that had, uh, well, my dad was an artist, so I grew up in that kind of environment where I had a studio at home. I grew up uh, with paint around and materials. Um, so it was something that naturally progressed and it was encouraged by my parents. I became a little bit more serious about it when I was in my teenage years when I decided that I will prepare for a portfolio in order to go to art school. Becoming an artist is not something that it's absolutely concrete until it becomes that. So it's something that evolved. I did my first degree, my BA, in the UK in, uh, at the Ruskin School of Fine Art in Oxford. And then I moved to London. I did my MA at the Royal Academy Schools. So that was my kind of formal art education. I'm quite organic with how I deal with the painting process. I do have a bit of a structure in my head, but it's very flexible, so I do change it. I'm not too strict about it. I usually work on raw canvas, so I don't prime it white. I prime it with transparent um, primer. And then um, there's usually a process of like staining the canvas. So I use like thin down washes to create some kind of layer. And then I gradually build up my composition in a fashion of a drawing. So I often like think of my practice as a combination of painting and drawing. I use projectors to change the scale and that allows me to build up almost like a drawing of the composition. And then I build up the color gradually. Almost like there are some stages of fluidity. So it's very fluid at the beginning, then it gets a little bit more concrete, and it gets um, and it almost like revealed at the end with more concrete marks as a kind of visual journey or a visual um, statement. There's not a particular one moment that changed my style. It has evolved from graduation onwards. Relocating to Singapore has been definitely influential. The subject matter changed quite a bit and also the colour, the colour palette changed a lot. That tropical nature, the kind of exaggerated nature, just seeing it everywhere here, um, it just uh, crept up you know, everywhere in my practice. My palette expanded, so it just became more varied and brighter. I would love to uh, own a piece by Matisse, um, just because he was like an, an amazing artist, a great colorist, but also I discovered that we have the same birthday. So <laughs> that means a bit to me because I feel like whenever I read books about him and how he was, I feel like the, his temperament was kind of similar to mine a little bit. So I always feel like quite um, like an affection towards um, he's like big master. 